Hey guys, my name is Zabo, and today I'm gonna be checking out G Friend's Time for the Moon Knight album. Um, I'm really excited to check out some more G Friend. I really enjoy their albums. They always have unique and like just different songs. Like they always like to experiment with stuff and really like try different things. So yeah, you guys are excited. Make sure to like the video, comment down below any um songs from this album that you enjoy. Um, subscribe, hit the bell so you be notified when my videos go live. And for any extra content, check out the Patreon. But um, the songs we're checking out are we're starting off with the intro called Daytime, which with the intro that just like to play it all the way through. Don't really need to discuss about it. Um, and it seems like there's no lyrics because I didn't see no lyric video for it. So, um, and then the next is the title track, which is called Time for the Moon Night. And then we have um, the rest of our lyric video, color code lyric videos, Love Bug, Flower Garden, Tick Tick. Bye, and you are my stars. So, yeah, without further ado, um, let's get into this. Here we got three, two, one, still. Like me hearing this, I'm like, what does this song gonna sound like? God, like throughout the G from um, albums that we are, I've not heard a song sound like this from them. Like it sounds fantasy, magical, like. There you go. That was daytime. Oh, I, I did forget one thing the dance practice. I forget you can't ever go without G Friends dance practices. I need to put that. We'll we'll do that. I'll add, and I'll make sure to um, add it after this. Such a different feel of a song. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> Aww. I'm gonna pause it here. I will I see a little bit of the choreo. It makes me always remember at the dance practice. <laughs> 
I really enjoyed this song. It, it does feel like one of them fantasy songs with like with the um the light like um kind of like that sparkle effect that they have um thrown in a little bit here and there, which I enjoy and I really like um I I like I'm trying to figure out what is happening. Is this like moments before like something like sad happen or you know she lost her friends or i don't know but i'm really liking it they look like they're having fun like just this image here of just like them kind of playing around even though this is them filming the music video it, it's like basically they they are acting natural and i really like it so um yeah here we go three two and stuff i really enjoy this song a lot Leaving. Now they all fall with Kathy, like, what is happening? Mmm. for the moon night trying to figure out you know what the whole story was and everything like i really enjoyed that song like i wish i understood like what was happening like um without further ado let us get into this dance practice three two one stuff um i'm really excited to see what the dance is like there we go. like i keep forgetting like i need to always add you for these dance practices Oh, I like the levels of this. You think you saw that? That's so cool. Look at how cute the song starts, and then it kind of gets a little bit darker and a little bit like goodbye feel. And sink queens as always. Hey. <laughs> That's cool. How I went into that. It just always in sync like what, what else do you want me to say but it, that was really like a fun like you know change of pace move right there and then like the transitions <laughs> i'm dying of cuteness Look how big their moves are and just like grand because it fits the song so well. With how like majestic and fantasy feel the song gives.
I'm gonna pause it here. That was too clean. Like the the wave, like and they're in sync too with it, so it just looks even like I really enjoy Chief Friends. Oh, excuse me, on their choreo. Like every time I'm just impressed and how like how creative and you know how how they just are one. Like I really enjoy that a lot. I really like the song listening to it for the second time. I really enjoy the pace and the feel of like this kind of moon uh, like it feels like we are in nighttime like for like a ride or something. I don't know. Like we're going for something, like a ride in like, or enjoying ourselves together. Like, that's how I feel when listening to this song. So here we go. Three two one seven. Like, look how they go into that. Like, ah. <laughs> oh, sing it, Yuju. Where's she going, my boss? She's tearing it up. And just how they started, they're ending it. The levels. Oh, I love the into this. Like, ugh, so beautiful. I love that. Like when a choreo has a like a a start and end like that, where it ends the same way and starts the same way. Like that's so good. But um. Yeah, moving on. Um, I love that song a lot now. Like, I'm listening to it. Like, Una, at the end, killed her part two with Yuju. Like, those two always are, like, killing the parts together. So, um, here we go with Love Bug. Um, three, two, one, let's go. Was not ready for their record of scratch, but my Romeo. How she went up like a key there. Who is that? Shindy? Yeah, they, they are going up a key. Mm. 
Mm. Should be got the vocals too. Like, don't sleep on her. I'm gonna pause here, but you know, basically call love bug. Like, basically come over here. I caught the love bug. Like you, like a bug. You know, basically you fell in love with this person. You want them to, you know, do everything. Like come over, talk to you. You know, like you know, they're driving you crazy. Like that sort of feel. I really like that message and the way that they're using it. I was not expecting that record scratch at the beginning. I thought it was gonna be like a very cute, fun, like kind of song. Like you know, but not like in this way. And I really enjoyed the switch up and them like doing that and doing something different. Like it's really, really cool. So here we go. Three, two, one, four. Oh, like this isn't real. Like I'll wake up from it like it's a dream. Oh, they used it there. <laughs> I love that. Oh my sweet, let me up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But um, there you there you have it. That is Love Bug. But I really enjoyed that with the record scratch part where they just kind of almost it feels like they're about to do a beat switch, but it's just like you know in there to add a little bit of flavor. I really like the lyrics. I really like the vocals. I really like how, like I said, they added that record scratch, but. Moving on to the next song, which is called Flower Garden. So here we got three, two, one, let's go. Easy Willy. You'll be surprised when this bloom up at all. And then like a little instrument breakdown, like. I'm gonna 
little pause here. I really enjoyed that, like, breakdown with just the instruments, just letting them go off. Because they've been going off with the vocals throughout this song. I really like um, the song. Um, kind of got lost with the song, so I wasn't really reading the lyrics. So if you saw me, like, a little bit, like, spaced out, that's because I was just feeling it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is it. This is the song right here. But I really like the vocals a lot from this song, the energy, everything about it is just so, it's just so good. Like, just like thinking about G Friend as a group, it just makes me mad because I'm like, Ugh. they were still here. <laughs> but here we go, three, two, one, go. Or dreams that fly like flower petal or oh, flower garden. Makes sense though. But um I didn't read the rest of the lyrics. I can't really make no like references or of anything, but I really enjoyed the song. I was lost in it. I was just lost in the vocals. Like I was just like feel like I was, you know, flying away. Feel like I was dreaming, like on clouds and everything. Like I love that song. <laughs> that might be my favorite song so far from the B sides alone. Like so good, but Moving on to the next song, which is called Tick Tick. So here we got three, two, one, stuff. It's a shorter song, so. Ooh. <laughs> oh, so it's like, okay. I really like how the beat just gets like more um, open and like brighter here. Like not brighter, but like it just feels a lot more chill there for that chorus part. I'm gonna pause it here, but I really like the like I really like this part where it just like gets all um you know kind of a lot calmer and it brings the energy back. But I really like the um, song or the lyrics, basically about. The guy kind of being reluctant to share his true feelings of how he or she feels about the other person. And it's obvious, like the other person knows it's obvious that, you know, you like me and that you, um, you know, want to know more about me. Like we, we connect on so many things. I just want to, you know, I just want you to know to trust me. Like you can trust me with, you know, your feelings in your heart. And I really like that. Like I like how like cute and fun the song is to represent that like doing cute acts like throwing an umbrella at her and running away like not even wanting to like be like i was the one no 
I'm running away. I don't want you to know that I was the one that threw you know. Obvious. But um, here we go. Three, two, one. Three. Like I said, this part feels a lot calmer, but then it's like they're bringing everything in, though. It just ends, yeah. I mean, they could have kept going and it just, you know, brought things back, but yeah, I really like Tick Tick. Um, is it Flower Garden or Tick Tick? I like most, I don't know. Let's. Let's get to the um, other songs though, but Tick Tick is so good. I really like the you know the message. Um, I, I like the lyrics a lot. I like the um, vocals as always. Um, I really just like the energy, how fun and playful that song was. But uh, moving on to the next song, which is called Bye. So here we go, three, two, one, let's go. It's almost five minutes long. Like G friend about to be talking. There's stuff in this, unless like this person like has like an ad at the end. Mm. Mm. Oh, it just has like maybe a long like instrument part, like instrumental part.
not only did they sing this so beautifully, but with like a lot of emotion. It's got me, you know, thinking about people that I wish I could go back and meet. You know, I I was this close. I was this close to breaking down in tears. Here we go. Three, two, one. It, it the song really got to me. It like in a good way. Like like I I appreciate that they have a song like this to help me get these sort of emotions out and really um just have me remember and think about those precious moments again, even if they are fun and fun like happy moments. Sometimes just good to get those tears out and really like you know think back to those memories so i really enjoyed the song by very beautiful um let's just move on to the last song which is called you are my star so here we go three two one let's go The first group to do this to me on camera, that is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is this like a song about like maybe their careers, like it's idols, the start of it and the feelings of being idols and you know, like being trainees basically and get, getting to become idols? Oh, like a song to the fans too. So basically like those moments of being with, you know, you guys, the fans. I mean, I'm a fan too of G Fun, so. Yeah. 
I'm gonna pause it here, but yeah, I really enjoy this song, like how fun and like kind of uplifting it feels um, after, you know, the last song. <laughs> um, but I feel like it's talking about, you know, their life as like maybe trainees and idols and, you know, being G friend and how that moment is and how like we as the fandom, how they view us as like something that is, you know, with the light that's brighter than the sun and dazzling stay by my side, like basically saying stay by my side. You are, you are a light brighter than the sun. Like you are something that we need. And this, you know, it's that light. It's that, you know, positivity, that love and support that you guys give to G friend, you know, being part of this fandom for them. And, um, yeah, this is really dope. I really like the song a lot. So here we go. Three, two, one. Seven. You're my star. It makes sense of the name of the song. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this album. Um, clearly, I really did because I got very emotional with the good song called "Bye." Um, I guess I should give you my top three from this um, album, B sides only. Um, Bye. Like, is there no? Excuse me. There's no argument for it. like. It. It's the literally. The first song out of like, how many videos do I have on this channel? 800 plus? And, and this is the first song to make me like feel, you know, feel that emotional. Like, like sometimes like, or most of the time I've been able to, you know, kind of hold it in, hold it back. Like, so it doesn't like interrupt the reaction. Try not to, but man, I just couldn't like, I think maybe these days I'm a bit more sensitive and just you know been probably stressed and this is the type of song that's kind of healed me a bit to let those emotions out so tick tick i really enjoyed in flower garden um the rest of the songs are really good like love bug is really like it was right there i think between flower garden and love bug but i mean all the songs are really good like they all have nice messages great messages um nice vocals i really love time for the moon night as well and the choreo that we saw with it it's really dope um, but with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye.